Hey everyone, what a busy year it's been. I've got so many Hot Wheels left to open. So next few videos are gonna be Hot Wheels based and I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna open all the ones I've got left that I want to. And then I will do a top 10 of my favorite 2022 Hot Wheels as I've already seen 2023 cases come through. So let's get on with it. Okay, what have we got today? So we've got two Dodge Chargers, we've got the 69, we've got the 70, this is like a big Baja Blazer one, and we've got the Lotus Sport Elise, and then we've also got Porsche 935, the Dimanche Veloci, Dimacchini Veloci, and the 95 Jeep Cherokee. So let's get these all open. Now that they're all opened, let's take a look at each one. So. This is the 70s Dodge Charger. It's got a cool sunroof. You can see inside, it's quite some good detail on the seats. Left hand drive. the Hemi logo on the back. It's got a cool two spare plastic tires on the back, molded in. Got the refilling hub here, for the cap, and then it's got two of the engine uh, sorry, two of the trunk kind of pins. What I like about this is you've got these like bumpers here, so you've got this back one and you've got the front one here, giving it a really cool off road look. So, all in all, really nice. Now, let's take a look. Whoops. Let's take a look at this one. So I have reviewed a black version of this that came out earlier. Nice and shiny, 69 Dodge Charger 500. And this one, I just really like the colors on it. The orange striping <clears throat> on the sort of gray metal body worked really well. I really like this casting in terms of like its stance. It's just really solid. It's good. All black interior. There's some detail inside. Got like a grill pattern here. Hemi again. These disc shaped wheels. I'm not really a fan of these, but anyway, so you've got the side lights here, which have been that one's just missed it, but there you go, you can't win them all. And on this side, they've both been done correctly. Really cool orange racing stripe. And chrome all around underneath. So yeah, really, I really like that one. Okay, let's have a look at this Jeep Cherokee. So here we go. It's ninety-five Jeep Cherokee. Solid off-road vehicle. Engine grill, using the plastic to show as detail for the different color on the front, as is common. No. Uh, no headlights. That one, they just used the shiny chrome, but again, no separate detailing. And not on that one either. And on the back, got a couple of petrol fuel cans and a spare tyre moulded on. And we've got some labels. Got a small label here. 
four by four. And on the top, got some tools. Got some more labels on the side. Auto Trader, Goodyear. Not sure what the other two are. Lost it there. Nope, it's not getting it to me. Okay. Not sure what those two, what the top two are. Something about Belltech? I'm not sure. Okay. But, you know, Hot Wheels have gone through the effort to get licensed sort of logos on there, which are really nice. I really like the dark green, it really suits it. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the British like Land Rovers or you know green is a uh, common colour used for outdoors vehicles it looks good I've got this kind of bar on the top here metal side mirrors very solid construction cool okay let's have a look at this one so this is a fantasy the D Makini Veloci Lots of, so it's like a racing livery, lots of different labels on here, Hot Wheels GRFX, <clears throat> racing number, the Hot Wheels, Firestone, and we've got this plastic moulded part as like an engine hood, and you can see the front, underneath, very plain. It's just a fantasy vehicle. I've got these flaps on the back, which is a really nice touch. Yeah, you got it. Hot Wheels are very cheap, but the way they stretch the value for the price that you pay is pretty good. I mean, they're getting better each year. And got this grilled back window. Little port here, or rather, little opening. It's all blacked out inside, can't really see much. Some small details. And then Castrol on the top. This has come out in a red and a green I've seen it in. But this is the original, the blue one. Okay, let's move on to Lotus. Nope, it should be all white, but that's a bit of a mark here. That paint chipping. Nope, it's just another dab of random paint. Lotus Sport Elise. I've seen this in a yellow. I didn't really like the yellow colour, uh, so I waited till I saw well, this one was nice. So, And they actually painted silver headlights, which is nice. Got engine, deep vents see the Lotus badge there so yeah it's not green at the front which is a shame but common when uh, paint us when it bends over metal spoiler really solid and they've done the back which is really nice so you've got the rear lights normally they just leave it blank and just sculpt it on for customizers to add them in themselves <coughs> Nice wheel fender here. So the roof metal and then they've just done a great big piece of plastic all around here. Nice little racing car. And this one, I love this one. Uh, it came out, again it's come out in other colours. They've got the Goodyear license on here used really nicely and Bilstein quite like these wheels really nice silhouette this Porsche 935 I think it looks great in this dark blue 
I might be a bit biased because dark, dark blue is one of my favourite colours anyway. Um, but I think, I hope they do a, what is it, a Porsche 935 with a martini kind of racing. I like that one as well. Here we've got, they use the plastic as part of the engine bit here coming out and they've got some other further holes or port like engine parts here really cool okay let's give these a spin on the turntable I like this massive spoiler at the back. Let's put the other race car on as well with it. Uh, yeah, let's do them one by one first actually. Yeah, and then I'll put them on. Now for the Lotus. It's always nice when Hot Wheels can do the front and rear tampos and detailing. a smaller but and curvier model really cool I had the Lotus Evaya as well the more futuristic and it's nice to have a couple of contrasting Lotuses Let's put the Dimakini on for a fancy car it's not bad at all this um, and the other fancy cars that I really like this year were there was the kit, or actually it's car from the um, yep, yeah, the Knight Rider series. I'm really liking this one. The design of it really sturdy. They really captured the shape, the silhouette of it, of the actual vehicle really well in this model. Bit of a beast, massive engine. Have the off-road Jeep. This has come out in a red as well, I've seen it a bit bright red but I didn't really, didn't really like the bright red. And finally, the other, the other Dodge, but the Baja Blazers version. Like a really cool, fun, fun version, which I really liked. So yeah, in the comments below, let me know which ones you liked in the GH and L cases. These are my picks. I only get a few because with other brands like Auto World. Um, and various ones on AliExpress that just keep coming up out of nowhere. I like to just, if I don't have to get it, I won't, and I'll save it for something quality. Um, and in the future, I'll show you some ones that I've got. And also, I'm just waiting for some, because like Royal Mail strikes on and stuff, um, when I finally get some parcels from America using Stackery, um, which is a really helpful consolidation service which I've made a video on as well to save money on shipping. Uh, I will yeah, do a massive unboxing of quite a few different die casts that I've ordered. I can't wait. Okay, so next video I'm going to do 
I think it's just P and Q case. And then after that, I'm gonna do a top 10. So yeah, drop a, bit, drop a like, drop a comment, and see you in the next video.